What's going on guys and here with another video and I know I know I know no face cam today or not today just for this video because I just woke up this video is a lot better without the face cam I promise you <laughs> but it doesn't even matter about my face because boom team of the year is coming out tomorrow guys so here's the first card 96 overall Stefan Diggs this card art number one is amazing this card art is beautiful tell me it's not fire that is so clean but 94 speed, 90 jumping, 94 catching, 95 catching traffic, 96 spec, 94 short, 94 medium, 95 deep. This is this is this card's beautiful. These card arts are so fire. I wish Stefan Diggs was a little bit faster. Stefan Diggs is my favorite receiver in Madden right now. But it's okay though. We'll fix this. Still an upgrade. And then boom, Xavier Howard. I'm hurt because I use man. I really thought this dude was about to be my man corner, but 91 man sucks. But it's okay though, it's okay though. 94 speed, 95 excel, 92 agility, 95 jumping, 92 play rec, 91 man, 96 zone, and 96 pursuit. Still not a bad card, but I play man, so that just sucks for me. Next card up is 96 overall Fred Warner. Once again, this card art is beautiful. 87 speed, 91 excel, 76 strength, 95 tackling, 96 play rec, 88 block shed, 92 power moves, and 92 zone. Once again, it's linebacker. Typically, Madden players don't use linebackers, but this linebacker card actually isn't bad. 92 zone, but 87 speed. If this dude had 92 speed and 92 zone, this would be a usable linebacker card. But it's not because they can't give them both good stats because it's Madden. Next up, we got 96 overall Justin Jefferson. This dude had an insane year, bro. This dude is a beast. The 94 speed, 93 jumping, 94 catching, 95 catching traffic, 97 spec catch, 94 short. 95 medium and 92 deep route running. This dude is a beast. I think Justin Jefferson's going to be one of the best receivers in the league in a couple years. This card is amazing. Next up, we got Darren Waller, bro. This card is going to be so good. Just look at the route running. Look at the route running. That's insane. But 92 speed, 70 strength, 97 catching, 95 catching traffic, 96 back catch, 96 short, 94 medium, and 72 run blocking. Run blocking doesn't matter. But this card is a goon. And he's like, what, 6'6", six, 6'4", six, six, something like that. This dude is insane. This dude is a monster. But next up, we got Trust for Us. Man, this dude looks like he's actually getting MVP vote this year. But you know what happens? Defensive coordinators realize that all you got to do is put another safety out there. And then they get they get stopped, basically. This is legit all that happens. It's, it sucks. But that's why they fired their offensive coordinator. So hopefully the Seahawks will be better. Maybe Russell Wilson will get an MVP vote. But 88 speed, 94 throw power, 95 short, 95 medium, 95 deep, 93 throw under pressure, 95 throw in the one, and 94 play action. I had Russell Wilson's um, Halloween card. It wasn't bad, but I, I didn't like his release, really. It's not a bad card, though. I don't mind it. And then we got Corey Lindsley center. I mean, I'm not going over the, the stats. It's a center card, but it's not a bad card. Definitely not. And I'm going to be honest, I will go over the stats if I knew him, but it's okay, though. But Corey Lindsley does not look bad. It looks, he looks like a really great center. I do like this card a lot. All, like, 94-plus stats. Really good card. But then, also, they're not putting out all the other cards, but there also is a Trent Williams, Quentin Nelson, Brandon Scherf, Drake Conklin, Dalvin Cook, and we already went over Stefan Days, but he's not included in this picture. Let's go on to defense. We got 96 overall Chris Jones. I Chris Jones at the beginning of the year. Dude was a beast. 94 block shed. 91 strength. 96 tackling. 97 play rec. Like, come on. And he's not even that slow. For D tackle, 73 speed is not slow whatsoever. Not a bad card. Then we got Khalil Mack. This card is going to be a monster, bro. His 94 messed me up, bro. And this is 96. This card's going to be insane. 87 speed. 90 excel. 88 strength. 95 tackling. 96 play rec. 94 block shed. 96 power moves and 90 finesse moves. And he's like fast too. I would love this card if they didn't release Michael Strahan. But I got Strahan so it doesn't really affect me. Next up we got Bryce Callahan. I'm definitely picking up this corner card for sure. 95 speed. 96 excel. 88 agility. 94 jumping. 96 play rec. 96 man. 93 zone and 90 pursuit. This card is a beast. I, w I just wish he had a power up, bro. But the power up this card would be insane. But he doesn't. Hopefully they give him one because he deserves a power up. Next up, we got Blitz Boy, Jamal Adams. Line this It's a strong safety, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be linebacker. I'm just playing. But 
This card does not look bad whatsoever. I did have Jamal this whole year. I'm definitely picking up this card as well. 94 speed, 95 excel, 90 tackling, 95 play rec, 90 pursuit, 93 man, 96 zone, and 97 hit power. It does not get better than this, bro. This card looks like an N-year card. And just look at that card art. This card art is beautiful. Tell me it's not the most like awesome card art you've ever seen. And then also for defense, the cards that came out are Joey Bosa, Cameron Hayward, Demario Davis, Levante David, Jesse Bates are the ones that have not shown. We already went over Xavier Howard. And then our specialists are player of the year, J.J. Watt. So this year, I mean, they never did this before. We get one player of the year. There's no offense or defense, just one. And they gave it to T.J. Watt. You could say this is Aaron Donald, but I think they're holding out because he's probably going to win Depoy this year. So they gave the player of the year to T.J. Watt. Not a bad choice. He did deserve an upgrade. So I'm not mad at it. 90 speed, 93 excel, 85 strength, 96 tackling, 95 play rec, 94 block shed, 89 power moves, and 96 finesse moves. Great card. Steers theme teams just get stronger and stronger day by day, bro. I swear. Next up, we got Trey Hendrickson. I heard about this dude on the Saints. I don't know if he's a rookie or not, but I heard that he just like came out of nowhere and started doing great. 87 speed, 92 excel, 88 strength, 95 tackling, 95 play rec, 92 block shed, 86 power moves, and 96 finesse moves. This card does not look bad whatsoever. All these cards look really good. Not even going to lie. Next up, we got Gunnar Olszewski. I pronounced that right. I knew it. Gunnar Olszewski. 93 speed, 90 jumping, 94 catching, 94 catching traffic, 93 spec, 94 short, 95 medium, 92 deep. This card looks like a beast, bro. Not even going to lie. This card does not look bad. Like especially, He probably has like a really, really high kick return too. 93 speed, you could say is low, but his route running is nice. Not even going to lie. Next up for our kicker, Jason Sanders. 96 kick power, 91 kick, ash, kick accuracy. And he does have 79 speed. I don't feel like that's low for a kicker. But 96 kick power is amazing. That man could probably boom it from, what, 54, 56 probably? Maybe even more. I don't know. And then our punter is Jack Fox. Our fullback is Patrick Ricard. Our, our receiving back is J.D. McKissick. And then we also have Grady Jarrett getting a D-tackle card. I feel like it's been a staple for Madden that we get the tackle cards. Or Grady Jarrett in Specialist. I don't know why. They've been doing that. And then also, there's going to be sets tomorrow. Which, for this year, it's really cool. It's unique. I like it. So, instead of having to get the Player of the Year collectibles like get last year, you have to get different card overalls from that position. Let's say um, TJ Watts a bad example because you have to get other cards to get him. Let's go with... I don't know. Gunnar Shetty is probably not a good example either. Um, let's go with... Dalvin Cook. Oh, no, Justin Jefferson. My fault. i seen the Vikings uni. But Justin Jefferson, you have to get 93 overall wide receivers, a couple 86s, a couple 84s. I'm probably missing some too, but I'm pretty sure it's like 13 cards. They didn't post a screenshot of the set yet, but it'll be live tomorrow. All this is coming out tomorrow. I'm super hyped. Hopefully, they release some fire packs too. But you have to use cards from that same position, but different overalls. It's really sick. I do like that. I think it's a lot better than those collectibles. Those collectibles were annoying. And also... It raises the market up so you can open up packs because any card you pull, if it's a desired position, that card will go up. Let's say you pull like a 91 overall tight end. That card will be worth a lot. 92 overall wide receiver. Card will be worth a lot. It's good. I like it. Or corner, 92 overall corner. That card will be worth a lot. Any card too, which is sick. And then for TJ Watt, you need team of the week heroes. You need a 95, a couple 92s, and some lower ones, I'm pretty sure. Once again, they did not post a screenshot to the set. I was watching it live. I was waiting for them to post the screenshots because if I did my screenshots, everything would be blurry. So I'm sorry about that, but this is what I got. So this card is a beast. I'm going to try to get this card maybe just for my team overall because 97 overall is kind of insane. All right, well, that's the video. Um, Pack opening coming later today. Two videos today. I have not done two videos in such a long time, but all pro fantasy pack opening later today make sure you like and subscribe once again 150 subs i will be doing another gift card giveaway and at 200 subs i will be doing one so i greatly appreciate all the support on the videos hope you have a blessed day peace